Hello everyone, I'm Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com and we are on the Pipulate project from GitHub. And I said in the last video that I was going to go down to this do sheet function right here and simplify this bit of code which is getting to be a little bit uh, messy for, uh, for Python. You rarely want to look at this much code and go, what the heck is going on there? You want the structure to be immediately implied. And I think what's wrong is that I have extra indents from using uh, these if statements. If db source equals local, lf db source equals gdocs. And I mentioned that you can use a Python dictionary as a switch statement. And it's a little bit radical for non uh, Python thinkers, and it is kind of a Pythonic way of doing it. So you've got that gdocs in that line, and then you've got that local in that line above it. So uh, if I set up a couple more uh, sort of dummy functions here that are going to be uh, what gets invoked as a result of a switch statement, we'll call it uh, def db, db local colon, and I'll just say pass for now just to make it a valid function, and another one, def db gdocs, and also do the pass. Now you've got functions that can be invoked by just saying db local or gbd, uh, <laughs> db gdocs, and why would you, why would you do that? I guess the best place to put it is, is, is here. I'll put it here and I'll make it part of this function, just indenting by one. And then I'm going to have to do some copying and pasting to get it into the right place. So we're going to establish a, uh, a dictionary that uses uh, those function names uh, as, uh, I believe, values. So it goes something like this. Um, db method equals open curly bracket the key is local and when the local key is invoked it should call db local as a actual function uh, and likewise when uh, gdocs is used as the key, it should call a function called db gdocs. And now that is actually a completely uh, complete dictionary there, db method, that you can plug local or gdocs into and it'll call one of the uh, below functions. Now first thing I'm going to do is save that and then write it to bang Python to make sure that I haven't made any stupid mistakes anywhere. And in fact, I have something. Oh, yeah, I put a comma in for colon, R for replace, colon, save, and then run that again. Okay. It's the same output as we've been getting for a while. Uh, but now we've got a kind of structure, a framework in place where I can just uh, plug values in. Watch this. We pick that up. We put that above the first uh, if statement. And now this entire piece of code D for delete. That's the local code. You no longer need the pass. And this can all be outdented by one. Okay, you see what I did? And now LF source equals DB source equals GDOX. And remember that last else statement? That's only there as a hook for other methods. But you can see how other methods can be inserted into 
this approach much more easily than an if elif you know uh, flow. We outdent that. D, get rid of that. And uh, much, much more readable. Now this whole if, elif, else, and pass goes away. And this is our switch statement. Do you follow? Let me save it and try running it. And if we get the exact same output, Nope, I'm missing something. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, so we have just created the, uh, the dictionary that controls the routing, but we have not invoked it. So we have to invoke it by going db method and plugging in the key db source. What you just saw is it not going through the logic gate at all. But we just plug in db source from up there right here. It has it. Save and send it to Python. Okay, still nothing. And the still nothing is because of a very subtle point that always catches me. All we're doing is we're creating the word uh, db local or dbg docs here as as a string. We are not automatically invoking it as the function that the string represents. So all I have to do is put the open close parentheses after it one more time. There you go, expected output. And the use of a Python dictionary to replace a switch statement, something that would be a uh, switch case in many other languages. And this starts to give you a feel for that uh, Pythonic thinking. Now I would just create a new function for any of the different uh, approaches we have to creating a list of rows uh, to iterate through and each one can now be uh, visually isolated and thought of separately so that the issues surrounding using the shell and eventually the shove uh, library don't get mixed up with the issues surrounding using the gspread API from GitHub. So I like this video. Uh, I think I'm getting back to some of the uh, tutorial uh, Python stuff that I wanted to do as opposed to the really nuanced stuff about this project. And uh, thanks for joining me and I uh, hope to see you again soon and don't forget to subscribe.